And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Poros Give It All. That's right, we're going to be playing some Poros in Masters Rank. And I'm pretty excited about this one. I think we're going to build upon our 5-0 that we just had with the Fizz deck. I think that this Poro deck is going to be pretty good too. Um, I Yeah, I think the, the Poros are actually pretty strong. There's a lot to like about them. And then this new card, Give It All, is just super, super powerful. Um, this Give It All is going to work well with both of our champions. We have uh, Challenger Tough and Challenger Regenerate to be able to give all of the Poros. Of course, our Poros um, are the main thing about our Poros is going to be elusive. We have Poro Cannon and Daring Poro uh, that, that are going to be elusive. And so with Give It All, we can give all of our stuff elusive, which that could be really powerful. We have Mighty Poro with the Overwhelm, and then we also have the Patch Poro Bot that gets a random keyword that we can use with the Give It All as well, getting that random keyword in there. And Lonely Poro creates another random one cost Poro. That random one cost Poro will have a random keyword. So, you know, like we, we can have like some pretty sweet keywords to go along with that. So let's give it a try. Let's do uh, our five games in ranked. Masters rank with Poros. Let's go. Ooh, Trundle Trindamir. Not the best give it all matchup, because give it all does not work very well against Ruination. <clears throat> um, so maybe I just mulligan the give it all, maybe I mulligan the Braum, maybe I mulligan the Mystic Shot, and just go with the Poro Herder and look for other stuff. You got fearsome right now. I guess I'm just gonna go with the regular lonely Poro and just keep the two mana, uh, keep the two spell mana for these troll chants. Man, so they got a bunch of these things. I wish. I, so now we kind of need give it all to get through all of these little tiny blockers. I like tough. Tough works out well against just a ton of one ones. That, of course, turns their Bark Beast into being a 3-3. Kind of want to just play Aurora Porealis. I guess I have the problem of that being 10 cards. Okay, so this is definitely not a Ruination deck. I feel really bad for mulliganing my Give It All. And my Braum. <laughs> I just made terrible mulligan decisions. They fooled me pretty good with the, with the one Trundle, one Trindamir. Yeah, this looks like this is just a They Who Endure deck. They just put one of each of those champions in their deck. To fool people. And they did, did a good job. I need lifesteal Poro. Uh, I have not dealt damage. It's probably just planning on doing my Poro snacks. Wish I could deal damage to them somehow. Poro Herder probably draws the elusive Poro, which obviously the elusive Poro can be good. That means I'm replacing one of these, though. Um, I think the buffs still persist 
after... Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not actually exactly not sure how Poro Snacks and Give It All are going to work. But, I mean, the... The Poro Snacks are going to buff these things up more before... Actually, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly how it's going to work. I hope the buffs still stay on afterwards. That'd be really cool. You know, so basically, like, I don't know if, the, if a give it all would just turn these all into four fours, or if it would make them all four fours, and then they get another plus one, plus one, and make them five fives. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. Regen. I already have Challenger and Top. You've gone and spoke them. I know I could use Troll Champ, but I don't really need to, need to. Don't really need to save any of these things. It's gotta be they who endure is what they're trying to do. Cool, quick attack. So we're gonna have five fives. Do I make it elusive? I don't know. We already—they all you already have like one individual keyword. <laughs> I guess I could replace like quick attack with elusive. Probably not casting the thermogenic beam. Oh, I guess I could have done it. Yeah, I guess I could have done it over the challenger. Yeah, I guess I should have done it over the challenger. Keep the quick attack. Get rid of the challenger. <laughs> Poros. So they're tough, challenger, fearsome, regeneration, overwhelm. Yeah, I guess guess could have kept quick attack instead of challenger, but oh well. Yeah, give it all with the poros is pretty amazing. All right, one and zero. Turn a bunch of little one ones into game winning threats. Okay, we got. Ezreal and Karma. Do you keep thermogenic? Yeah, I guess we keep thermogenic beam. Be removed. Like, you know, early, uh, early Ezreal is always annoying. We each hold a world within. What if I just thermogenic beam this Eye of the Dragon? Is that a bad play? Then I won't have anything if they have early Ezreal. But the next few turns, like I want to play Braum into Vi into like give it all. I don't. I just hope they just don't have Ezreal. Scout. Scout's pretty cool. Scout's actually pretty cool. Double up on these with the Scout. Oh, come on. It did have our early Ezreal. That's annoying. So I want to say, like, I, I want to say bank the mana for these things. Um, yeah, I think I want to bank the mana. I don't miss. I can't just pass because we just waste all of our mana. 
So I'm not drawing a card. Then they don't cast Mystic Shot. I obviously just completely regret playing Thermogenic Beam with them having the early Ezreal. This has really thrown a wrench in my plans. Okay. That's good. I like Tough. Also. Tough is good. Yeah, so like what if we have like a heart of the fluff and still have like a board of like other things, a big heart of the fluff, and then we give it all? <laughs> Just it's not bragging if you could back it up. If life could be that good. Probably discarded the Heart of the Fluff, though, to be able to make 3-3 elusive Poros. Sorry, Heart of the Fluff. I want to do these and, you know, try to, try to open up my Vi, see if they spend mana on other stuff. Not. Here comes the punchline. Probably gonna use the stun card on the Vi. Yep. My heart longs for the poetry of battle. You will not live long with that attitude. You're between me and glory. So, give it all could make all these 10 5 elusive tough challengers. Um, or I could, you know, wait a turn and get some more elusives in play. How can I'll just wait a turn. have that kind of power. That takes all but four mana. Here we go. I want to. I want to do this before karma. You know, before level up karma happens. No, deny. Why? Why deny? Why? I don't know. I guess you can attack. Spring does not pity winter. I didn't see what they discarded, but... Alright, put some down to two. And we got a Mystic Shot. Ah, that was weird. Hoping for no Health Potion. <laughs> oh, I didn't get to Poro Emo. Okay, we're 2-0. 
Let's get him for us. The day is ours. Now we eat. Oh, another Ezreal deck. Okay, this this Ezreal deck's not going to be playing Deny for the give it all. Cool, cool. Yeah, we got rank up Thursday today. That's what usually happens. I feel like Thursday, Friday, sometimes Saturday. Like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Like these three days. One of those one of those three days each week, we have like a really great day and win a lot of games. It's never Sunday. <laughs> Um, this will pass. Life steal. Don't blink, or you miss me. See, I, I don't want to just use all six mana on the thermogenic beam on this. Uh, maybe I do though. Maybe I just do. Doesn't let them get a free Mystic Shot on my Mighty Poro. Because I can pass now, and the onus is on them to do something. Fearsome. How can Rome help? They have those, like, Scorched Earth kind of cards that are always annoying, but, you know, can't do too much about it. We still... All right, well... Make sure it's not a three damage spell that kills the Braum. The few for the men. <laughs> a good mustache on this one. Wow. Two turns in a row with the gotchas. So they also have Ravenous Flock. Wow, uh, this is this is uh, not good. Not good. I, would, I obviously wish I didn't keep give it all in my hand, knowing that we just draw multiple others. Life Steal. Life Steal could be good. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think keeping give it all was the correct play, but it just, you know, really backfired. But I think it was the cor correct play. Follow along, little ones. My friend, you are lucky, man. There's the Swain's Ravenous Flock we were expecting. Now we're just gonna try to level up Braum. I mean, they already have they already have their Swain leveled up, so. I guess I, I guess I shouldn't have played the Daring Poro. Right. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have played the Daring Poro. I will. Alright, that's eight. Here comes the punchline. I I think that overall I would be uh, pretty confident in winning this matchup more than half of the time, but they their cards lined up really well against my cards this game. And you know, they had both their champions immediately, like one on turn three, one on turn five. And uh, you know, then had those gotchas that were perfect and 
yeah, looks like they're going to get this one. And then obviously we have three uncastable eight drops immediately. Stun isn't a keyword, so we shouldn't be giving anything else stun. Alright, 8 6. Elusives puts them down to 3 if I just do this. Or I could like challenge here and <clears throat> get another Mighty Poro. Put them down to 11. Let's just do that. Maybe I should be challenging the 3 2 also. Try to keep them from going wide. Because, like, them at 11, we can still kill them the next turn fairly easily. <laughs> yeah, you don't see you don't see an elusive Braum killing a Swain very often. <laughs> yeah, like when, when's the last time you see that? Deploy! All right, let's make him nine power, and let's give him overwhelm. Okay. So they're looking for a get excited. Dark in the skies. Hopefully, no get excited. Just the Static Shock. All right, GG's. How about that? We still pick that win up. Poro, give it all. Wow, I was not expecting to win that one. We have faced Ezreal twice. Like, our last two wins were... Ooh, Twisted Fate Swain. I think this is better than... I think this is a better deck than Ezreal Swain. I would rather face Ezreal Swain. I don't, I don't hold Ezreal to much regard, but Twist of Fate and all these awesome Bilgewater cards. Ugh. I mean, I, I think I keep the same. Like, this is the card. I like I like these three. This is the card I don't know about. Um, I'm not sure about this thing. I'll send it back for now. So I can use like removal spell, removal spell, and just kill both of these, or I just save the mana. I'll kill one, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I am worried. I am worried about my life total. I guess I'll trade Mighty Poro for... Okay, I was going to say, I guess I'll trade one of these for for that. But basically, so like the, the reason why I mulliganed the the thing that makes the two 1-1 one -one Poros to start with is because we are playing against build, you know, like a Make It Rain and Twisted Fate Red card and that kind of stuff deck. And so just having like the multiple 1-1s one isn't as valuable. You know, hopefully get like some Poro snacks and that kind of stuff first. They are not going gold card. That is greedy. Soak it in. That should be a gold card right there. So 
The main question is, am, do I play Vi first or just attack? Good luck. I don't think I may just attack. <clears throat> yeah, let's guard. I wanted to get a mighty Poro here, so I, you know we could get just another mighty, you know, a free mighty Poro, and you know Poro snacks them up to four fours. I wish I could play like a 1 1 first, right? And not, not waste a mana. But we don't always get what we want. It's a great salvage for them. Yes, now I wouldn't mind having another one of those for the Leviathan. But we do have Vi. They can. Turn 8 is going to be their attack token turn, so like I can't kill Leviathan immediately whenever they could play it. That's what's up. Basically, I get to see, you know, like, whether I want to go Poro Snacks or Vi this turn. I'm thinking Poro Snacks. I'm worried about, like, these are all, like, one health things. I'm worried about Make It Rain with playing Vi. But I guess we would level up Vi. Plus, maybe we get lucky with the Make It Rain. Like, even if the, even if the plan is... You know, they may not have Mega Rain, and if they do, maybe we get lucky with Mega Rain. I'll trade this one for a 2 2 if they want. No, she won't. So, Vi won't die to one Ravenous Flock. They'll have to have. Because, because Vi levels up. So, one Ravenous Flock doesn't kill Vi. Because of the tough. Scorched Earth will. But now our other Vi will be leveled up. And I have exactly 8 mana next turn. If they go Leviathan, I have Thermogen Thermogenic Beam. Something good, Porobot? Elusive. Oh, I can't go Porobot and Snacks and Vi. I thought I was going to have enough mana for all of that. I thought that cost 9, but that cost 10. Deploy. One girl wrecking crew. We don't get the Snacks. I don't need a plan. This. Yeah, I guess so. Now they can have a flock kill Vi, but they take, you know, they take five, and we kill Vi then, so. We're going under. Enforcer down. I guess the problem with this is they can, you know, play Swain. Now they have another flock there that levels up their Swain. The few. I can play two Poro Snacks this turn. I don't change fate, but I can see Alright, it's a it's a little risky passing with all that mana now. It's just too risky passing and wasting. That much mana. Cool. 
I'll go to my turn. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. What do we want? I get some elusives. Probably just want some elusives. So we're going to discard the spell shield. Could discard the Poro Herder, but I think the Poro Herder is probably more valuable than the spell shield thing. Well, I gotta do something. Death Lotus, dealing two to everything. Not a card I was expecting, honestly. That could be a good one. Do they have two more Death Lotuses? Culling Strike will not work. There we go, GG's. That was close. Alright, four and oh. Look at those poros go. Aurora Porealis, what a great card. That was close. Ooh, Draven Vladimir. All right, so we got Vladimir as our gatekeeper, trying to keep us from getting the 5 0. So I like elusives. I'm thinking about just keeping this one, but these are just like little 1 1s elusive. So I'd have one Poro Cannon, discard the other Poro Cannon. That's what we would do. And basically, so this would just turn this into the two Daring Poros, a Poro Herder, and a Braum. I think we'll take that. Now we gotta give it all. Okay, cool. Hey, you know you know our opponent saying they're a really cool cool guy? Awesome. Hello. This land is ours. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. Alright, portal herder. Ah, uh, I didn't play the the one that the, I should play the one that the Poro Cannon created. That's the one they know about. Four four Draven's a little rough. Whoa, luck, Bojack Gaming with the sub. Y'all get some hype boats in the chat for our new sub. Third sub of the day. I helped build this empire. Yeah, and you're always bragging about it too. So we'll go Brom. Brom doesn't block Let's too well, but that's okay. Brom? I thought he was just doesn't block these four power things. Whoa, attacking with the three power thing? Okay, that makes more sense. So we're at twelve. Could block with the Poro Herder just to get the Poro Herder off the board. Maybe I should have done that. I didn't want to give them like the opportunity to play like any kind of spells or anything. But yeah, I guess I should have just blocked the, the Legion veteran with the Poro Herder. Okay, I guess our strength is yours. Jeez. Nine mana next turn is not enough for both of these. Yeah, I, I should have blocked. I should be at 16. I should have blocked. Alright, give it all. We'll make them 3, 5, 
Elusive Overwhelm Regenerate Challengers. You wouldn't call it Regenerate, you'd say Challengers with Regeneration. So there are three, five Elusive Overwhelm Challengers with Regeneration. The Winter's Claw Strikes! Today we fight as one! So yeah, so I I really should be at 16 right now. I should have blocked. That was that was a bad play by me. You are safe with Rob. I mean I guess I'll just do that. If Think hard. Think strong. If I would have blocked before and been at 16, then I wouldn't have had to block one of these. Like, I wouldn't have to, like, block the Draven, for example. War teaches us all. Time for the money makers. I only get one thing. Every scar a lesson. Tumble Dog! Thanks for the sub. Seven. Yeah, so I messed this game up by not blocking. Another elusive. Now, where did that one run off to? Yeah, so we'll see if we can still survive. So yeah. Uh, five months now, Tumble Dog. Thank you so much. Gets us our fourth sub of the day. Okay, down to five. So, can we survive this attack? It's going to be the question. We're playing. We're playing the tough. Plucky Poro. Now we're cooking. Only the finest serve. Always chasing after this one. <laughs> and if I don't really know why they would play something before attacking, but if they do, then you know we get to re-give it all and make these all three fives again and have them have tough. So I, I hope they do. Okay, yeah, let's do that. All right, so we're gonna go plus here, minus here. And so we'll make them all uh, three sevens with tough. Okay, so now they're three seven overwhelm. Uh, Overwhelm tough elusive elusive overwhelm tough challengers with regeneration. Axes coming right up. We're blocking them all. What have Poros done to you? Okay, GG's. 5-0 with the Poros. 5-0 Poros. Give it all is incredible. Stole some games with Give it all for sure. Uh, what a great card with these Poros, with all these keywords everywhere. This deck is just pretty incredible. Aurora Porealis, this thing is awesome. With those Poro snacks and everything. Uh, yeah, this this deck's just pretty awesome. Yeah, I liked everything about it. You know, even our spells like our Mystic Shot Troll Chant. Um, yeah, it's just all, all good cards everywhere. It's just a, a really clean list um, with a lot of great stuff. You know, like Lonely Poro does a lot of work in there. So there we go. A nice 5-0 with the Poros. So back-to-back 5-0s. I was confident in this one. Like, I, yeah, I said, yeah. Yeah, this was a Cabo. This was a Cabo's deck. Ca good job, Cabo. This was a, another great one. 10-0 um, Thursday. Wow. Wow. All right, anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Give this deck a try. Let me know how it goes. Let me know what you think of the Poros. Hopefully get some, some cool rank up, 
moments with this deck also with the give it alls and and everything um but yeah that's this is just another awesome deck cool the ledgers of runeterra is just so cool right like you can just play everything <laughs> you know like you just find these really awesome decks everywhere and that's what we do here on the stream um but anyway that's it for poros give it all thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video